Pretty scapegoats back in my summer. <laughs> okay, yes. Sorry. I just think it's funny when I do that. Okay, so here's here's the deal for today. I went and did grandma's fish, and that's not a euphemism, but I did grandma's fish, and I made a little bit of money because I'm still waiting for the kill you to come back again. Um, I think I need to do, well, I don't think I do. I, need, I know I need to do an oil change on the car. I checked it last time before I logged out. The oil does not look good. Uh, so we need to do that. And I'm a little scared to drive it because of it. Cause it was really dark, <laughs> the oil, but also let's go open this up. We need to impress a girl and, oh my God, it's so bad. Okay. Okay. We need to impress a girl. I think we need to buy the tube. I think we got to tint the windows and I hate tinted windows on fast cars, like tinted windows on your regular car. I get it. But on a, on a fast car. I hate it, but we're going to buy the tinted windows. I don't, how do you, I need, I need this, but I don't, okay, do I just pick the name? Is that what, do we want leopard? Do we want, oh my God, we're going to get pink. We're getting pink. We're going to get the other pink thing and we're going to get the other pink thing. I think that's the one because it lines up properly. Okay. So we got the pink stuff. How much is this anyway? It doesn't even say. So this is like 300 300 rough really right so that's six and then this is like 750 you know and then we got so it's like 800 800 bucks 800 bucks for something i don't even want and now we got okay this is gonna be it's a whole thing it's a whole thing now the one thing people have said that i have oh and i'm gonna need this i think okay and that's okay and then i'm gonna need this and I think, I, you know, I don't need the tack, but people keep, people have commented that I don't have the tack, so I should really get the tack. So we're going to get the tack as well. And I think, I think that's all we really need at this point. I think we have literally everything at this point. <laughs> we got the kit. We got that. We got that. We didn't get the race steering wheel, but I hate it. I hate the look of it. I like the classic steering wheel. We got the, we got the fog lights, but... Oh, and the antennas. Do I need the antennas? I don't really want the antenna. We'll get, you know, we'll get the antennas too. We'll just take them off if we hate them so much. I don't. I don't like spoilers. I do. I. Ugh. What is? What is? The, I don't even know. I don't even know. Like, what is this? What is this? We're gonna get this. We're gonna get this. This. This dovetail spoiler or ducktail spoiler, whatever you want to call it. I don't want this. We got that. I, I I hope I have enough money for all this at the end of the day. <laughs> okay. So we're going to create this order. Uh, I think I do have enough money. That's not going to be an issue. But we're going to create this order. It says I already bought the, the, the fog lights, but where are they? I don't know where the fog lights are. Did I put them somewhere? Are they? Where are they? All right. Well, we're going to go to town and do this. We get stuff for an oil change. And again, I have to apologize. My mouse settings are really, really out of whack here at the moment. And I didn't change them. And I'm realizing this now. Uh, put this on the seat here. Okay, so let's see here. Just make sure. All right, well, we're going to go drop this off. But we're going to do an oil change today. And then the next episode, we're going to pick up our stuff once it comes in. But this is just a, this. Oh, I'm so mad about this. <laughs> I, have to, I have to put this crap on my car. And I don't want to. But if I want to do the girl plot line. Come on, just, you know, I'm going to warm you up, actually, because I never do that. And that way I don't, I remember to do my choke properly. So we're just going to close this up here. We'll wait there. Because it says I have the, the fog lights are here. Well, the fog lights are on. It's just, I don't think I've, I don't know if I haven't hooked them up or something, or if they don't come on on their own. I, I don't know. I have no idea. It looks like there's lights that are meant to go in here as well. But I... I don't know where those are, so this is one time I'm gonna ask for help. If anybody knows where to get those lights from, maybe I'm just missing them in the in the catalog. But for now, we're not gonna worry about it. Ah, we're kind of getting warmer. All right, so we'll get in this car. So we're gonna go drop this off, and then we're gonna do an oil change. And that's gonna be today's episode because I'm really uh, I'm really uh, stuck for time today. Okay, this is on. That's on. All right, so let me make sure my pedals are in the right place here. Is this good? Oh, it's a little close. So I gotta shove them around. All right, so let's see here. Steering wheel's good. All right, there we go. Sometimes I forget to hook it up. 
And uh, there we go. All right. So, oh, I probably just blew a ring doing that because it's still cold. We're gonna try this now because me and me, me and me, me and the clutch are not are not friends yet. Just hurry up, warm up, car. I'm, I'm a little uh, I'm a little miffed at the way you do things around here with the clutch. All right, here we go. Okay, you're just you're just a little cold, bud. Hang on, jeez. It's Monday morning, and we're gonna go to Tiamo's there and drop this off. And the next episode, we're gonna fully tart up the car <laughs> like it's some bad prom date from the 1980s. And that's 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 our plan anyway. We'll see how it goes. And you, you know you know how this game goes for me. It's just not great. And I'm gonna have an argument with Tiamo. It's gonna be a thing. I can feel it in my bones. My left nut's tingling. Something bad's gonna happen today. I can feel it. But we'll get to town, we'll drop this off, we'll come home and do an oil change, and it'll be a shorter episode, but like I said, I got, uh, something came up that I gotta deal with, so I gotta go do that, and I, I'm filming this in the morning, normally I'd be filming this in the afternoon, because I like to be more awake when, <laughs> when I'm doing this, but I have to, uh, I have to go do something today, so, we're gonna have to do this as quick as possible and get it done, but how are you guys doing? I hope you're doing well, uh, we're on peanut patrol right now, we gotta be a little bit careful. I haven't seen him. I don't think I've really seen him since the rally. So that's a good thing. <laughs> like, I, I don't know where he's been or what he's been up to, if I'm just driving at the right time of days or what, but I haven't really seen him, which means now that I've said something, that means I'm going to see him and he's gonna crash into my car. There we go. And now that, now that I got the girl, well, I didn't get the girl, but I've at least set that up. All we gotta do is do this. And then we can get all the parts in the car, we'll stick it in, and, uh, not the girl, the car, and then we'll get everything ready to go. So it's gonna, it's gonna be a good day! It better be! Because I'll tell you, after yesterday's filming of the long drive, where everything was going wrong, I'm looking forward to a day where everything goes right. Now, it's not as big a deal if, say, my audio doesn't record in this one, because I can just start a recording over and say, well, yeah, I purchased all the stuff, so it's not going to be a big deal, but we'll see. Hopefully everything, it looks like everything was working, so I guess we'll, we'll find out. People have asked me why I don't drive faster than I'm driving either. Um, I'm just trying not to kill the car, <laughs> to be honest, because I wanted to hang on there a little bit longer uh, <laughs> than originally I anticipated. I figured, honestly, this, uh, this whole series would last maybe eight or ten episodes. I'd get frustrated, and then I would never play it again. But here we are! Here we are! <laughs> Episode, like, 694, and you guys still seem to want to see it, so... And I... And, and you know what the weirdest part is? I did. I thought I'd get frustrated and be like, that's enough of this, I'm not playing this anymore. Um, but the more I've played it, the more I've learned to enjoy it. And I think that's kind of the key of the game, is that... Over time the game grows on you unlike a lot of games you know you, you start a game and you start playing it and you're like this is a great game and then after you know 50 60 hours or so you're like oh geez i've had enough of this i'm not playing it anymore like this is the opposite the first 20 hours sucks like you're trying to build the car and things go wrong and if you get to tighten a bolt and something falls off like when my wheel fell off you know stuff like that but as you get better and better at it you start to enjoy it more and more. Like at this point, this game, like I could just, if, if you guys ever want to vlog, because I'm always talking about doing it in the long drive where that's it'll just be my vlog of what's going on. This is probably what I would do. Just hit, hit the highway and just drive. Oh, you know what else we should do? We should probably get fuel while we're in town. Whoa, red car. I don't know why I'm drifting all over the road today. I wonder if it's because I was playing, uh, a set of Corsa, and I think my I adjusted some of my steering settings, so they're a little different than the last time I played. So I should really, uh, really. I haven't recorded any episodes of a set of Corsa. I've been just playing it to kind of practice it to see if I want to, but I might. If you want to see that, comment below. I'm not sure how well that would turn into a series or anything, but I'm so used to going down to second gear. Uh, in a four speed that it almost seems it almost seems like you should be in third for some of these corners but this thing revs unnaturally high is all I want to say bus don't you do anything stupid get out bus get out of here I see what you're trying to do I'm not I'm not stupid <laughs> I see what you're trying you're trying to cause me problems aren't you okay let's just bring this in don't hit the thing okay there we go perfect alrighty 
Perfect. All right, we're going to get out of here now. That fan down spinning, it just sounds awful. It sounds like it's banging against something. All right, let's see. But while we're here, let's get this uh, opened up here. I don't know why I crouched all the way down for this, but that's fine. We'll fill up the tank. And, oh, crap, is this going to reach? Because I just forget it's on the other side. There we go. Yeah, we'll get this filled up with gas, and then we'll go inside. We'll buy the stuff for the oil change. Now, I have oil at home, so I don't need to buy oil. I just need the filter. But now I'm thinking, like, are all those oil containers empty? I think they're not, because I'm pretty sure I just throw the other ones out. And also, I need to do an episode, and you guys are going to have to suffer through this. I'm just, I'm just cleaning up the yard, because, get up there. I feel like I'm, like, like two feet tall. All right. Get on there. All right. Let's see. This is the type of quality entertainment you guys uh, want to see. Okay. This is. Hey, boss. What's up, bud? Did you murder anybody today, you freaking asshole? Okay. There we go. I'm just going to get that out. All right. Got my tools here. Got my. Oh, hello, girlfriend. What? Um. Hello. Okay. We got to get the letter out first. We got to mail something. Sorry, baby. I got to. I got to get my mail. Where is it? This again. Oh, there, it's in the back seat. It does this. I don't know why it goes through the seat, but it does. All right, so get this open. Where'd it go? Okay, I can't I can't quite see it. I can't, I can't. Can we lean in and get it? Oh, there it is. There we go. All right, let's get this over here. And we're going to put this in the mailbox, as one does. All right, with mail. Okay. Oh, no, get in there. Perfect. Hi, how are you? That, uh... Lipstick is just not, I don't know what's going on there, but you kind of look like my buddy Steve from high school. You really do. Okay. Hi, um, I'm much taller than you. You got some lips on you? Holy jeez. Oh, <laughs> sports style, ski championship. I don't know what you want from me, um, but you're going to have to just just stop. St okay, look. Look, if you're going to have a staring problem, we're not doing this. We're not doing this. is creepy. This is like exorcist level stuff. Chiaba, what's up? Sugar! <laughs> gimme, gimme, gimme! I'm buying this. Okay, thanks. Okay, what do we got? Um, an oil filter. There we go. Okay, so I mailed my thing. That's $201 there. I don't think mosquito spray works very well. Even if I spray a full can, those little punks keep flying around. Well, Chiaba, buddy, I just want to pay for it. I just want to... Can we just... I don't, okay, I'm paying for my stuff and I'm leaving. Just go away. Seriously, I don't have time for this. I gotta go home. No, I don't. I don't. Okay, I'll close your door. Hang on, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. I don't mean to be rude. I'm just. You just always. You talk so much. All the time. Put this on there. There's no turbo on this, and I'm lying. <laughs> I wonder if he intended to put a turbo in there, but he didn't. Okay, let's get this back in there. So we're gonna go home and do an oil change, and that's gonna be our episode. And I do apologize for not being longer. But I, trust me, my life is kind of hectic at the moment. Something came up uh, pretty serious that I got to deal with. So um, I don't generally go into too much detail about my personal life because that's not fair to you guys. And I'm going to not get into that stuff. But I'm going to go do it. And so I do apologize if some of these episodes in the next little while will seem a little shorter than normal. Uh, but I'll do my best to not have that happen too often. So I do apologize in advance. You know, just things that have to happen. <laughs> it is what it is. Okay, let's see here. Okay, there we go. Okay, we got nothing over there. Okay, we're, we're good here. Double check. Okay, let's just get out of here because you know a car is coming up super fast. Okay, let me just explain this. Now, as somebody who just rarely uh, changed their oil in their F-150 because they didn't care, um, when oil gets real black, it usually means it needs to be changed. And... That's where we're at. The oil is like super, super dark. So we're going to change it out. I have no way to actually tell the oil's uh, condition. Like, I don't think there's any way to really tell. Like, in real life, just rubbing it on my fingers, I can tell you if the oil is starting to go. But I can't do that here. So I'm just going off the color uh, of, the, of the oil itself. So hopefully this will, uh, this will, this will fix the oil problem. Why am I saying us so much lately? I don't even know what that's all about, but either way. Yeah, this should help get the oil back into good condition, because you don't want to run bad oil. It keeps everything lubed, and if you have bad lubrication, you start wearing parts really fast, and if it gets really, really bad, you'll you'll seize the engine. So, because it goops up after a while. Go look up videos on YouTube of people 
there's like pictures of like Audis that haven't had oil change in 40,000 miles and it's all like just like toothpaste turns into like crankcase grease it's, it's really really upsetting to look at and I don't know how you can own like a, a 70, 80, 90 thousand dollar thing and then not do maintenance on it I just don't understand or not even know there's maintenance involved this is one of the pet peeves I've talked to about books and jacks about and other people that are car people is that people will go online and research like a dishwasher or a, a fridge or a laptop or a phone and they'll research the crap out of it to the point where they know absolutely everything about every model and all these things but they'll buy a car and couldn't tell you the size of the engine now it's not important to know the size of the engine or how much power the car makes but you think when you're making a, a 60 50 or sixty thousand dollar purchase or more in some cases or less i guess you would at least know a little bit about it but people don't they know nothing about it and they think that's just normal and they think it's so complicated i'll tell you right now that phone you're holding in your hand at this moment is significantly more complicated than anything to do with a car like this it, they're just not complicated they're not complicated at all it's a little bit of physics mind you but it's not complicated it's not seriously if you're not a car person but you like watching car related content or something like that just go Go on the internet and go look how a, 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 an internal combustion engine works. Just look at how a standard internal combustion engine works. And I'll bet you 9 out of 10 of you, will, after about 10 minutes, will go, oh, that makes sense. Like, it's really just that simple. And it's, it's there's nothing to it. And people always are, are, like, I have friends, people I work with, will have car trouble and I'll help them diagnose it or something. And they'll be like, oh, you're right. And I'm like, like oh, you're so, you're so smart with this stuff. And I'm going, no, it's not hard. That's the thing. Like, I understand it's not everybody's cup of tea, for sure, so don't get me wrong. I'm not saying that you need to enjoy cars, but you think if you're making a big, expensive purchase, you would know something about it. You ever bought a house and not known the square footage of it or the square meters of it, depending on what country you live in? No, probably not. Like, it's just stuff like that that I just, it shocks me that people don't know. My love of cars comes from more trying to understand about them and fell in love with them, not an instant love. Although, I will tell you, my mother tells me, and I, I don't know because I'm too young to remember this, that when I was a kid, <laughs> even when I was like the tiniest little kid, I could make all the car sounds and drive my little toy cars around, making appropriate sounds for them. <laughs> so <laughs> obviously I had, a, I had something innately in me that said I needed to do this. Not looking, not looking. Go, go, go. <laughs> oh, the danger. No, no, buddy, don't come out on the road. Jesus, there's always so many people wandering around out here. It's kind of freaking me out more. All right, because they keep showing up and I just about hit them all the time. I haven't killed one yet, but that's what I think I I think. Yeah, I don't know if, you, if you've watched my series that long, but the, the OGs will remember. Remember when I went to jail and I didn't know why? I'm starting to think that might have been it. Um, maybe I hit somebody and I, I, I didn't know. Because... <laughs> I have no idea. Like, I paid all my bills all the time. I don't know what happened there, to be honest. I have no idea. It's kind of a, a, a thing to me I just don't understand. <laughs> oh, I want to do a shout-out to uh, my team over on my Discord, man. All the people out there, Asmin and Crunchword and everything, for setting up uh, the, the Minecraft build competition for my summer car. Uh, I want to do another one, actually, if you guys are interested in participating in that, maybe in a month or two, I'll do another one. If Asmin, you're watching this, or any of my mods are watching this, sorry, but we may do another one. <laughs> if you guys are comfortable with that. And, uh, come on, cart. There you go. Let's get in there. I think, oh, wait a minute. Should I pull it in the, the garage? So I pulled the car in the garage to do an oil change. I don't like getting the car in and out of the garage, because one little mistake, and you're going to be... Ugh. All right, let's see. One little mistake, and you're going to be driving off in the pit or that. Apparently, you can buy pit covers, people said, but I'm pretty sure that's a mod. I haven't seen it in the... in the. Oh, is the parking brake on? Hang on. There we go. Sorry. Just wear out the parking brake a little bit there. That's fine. I'm riding the clutch real hard right now. <laughs> Come on. Come on, baby. And I think we should be good there. All right, parking brake on, ignition off. I don't want to... 
I'm pretty sure you could probably kill yourself with exhaust in this game, so be a little bit careful. Oh, okay. Ow, door. Okay. Oh, yeah, we, we can get in there. Okay, it's going to be a little bit... Actually, it's pretty lined up, actually. Can we get at the engine, though? Oh, yeah, there it is. Oil pan and the oil plug. So, yeah, we should... It's a little far up, but it should be all right. I could probably push it back a bit, but if I can reach it, it doesn't really matter. Okay, so let's... uh. Let's, oh yeah, let's pop this out. Let's see here now. I should really, oopsie. I should really take this bag inside because everything else is, is pretty much for the inside. So like it's all sugar and if it comes out first, it'll be a problem. We just need the oil, okay, so put this on here because we're going to use it right away anyway. So let's see here. Sugar, oil filter. Never mind. I was wrong. <laughs> okay. <laughs> all right, fine. See, see, I make mistakes. I do. Okay. Bike? No, don't do that. I'm going to put this oil... No, we're going to do that. Okay. Put the oil filter. Uh, we'll put it right here for now. Okay, so we need our tools. we got to drain the oil, and then we'll put the new oil in after we change out the filter as well. So, now, I don't know if this game works like this, because I've done this before, um, but in real life, generally, you want to take off the oil filter. It helps the oil come out, because it gives it, like, an air gap thing. So we're gonna do this here, pop this off. All right, pick this up. I'm gonna put this over here for now. Okay, don't, don't, don't do that. All right, so we're gonna do this now. I guess I don't have to take the hood off. I could probably just do it all from underneath, but I like to be able to see better. So in this game, that probably doesn't matter, but I like to be able to see better. We'll go into the pit here with my toolkit. And well, we just gotta figure out what size the oil pan nut is. There it is, okay. So drain the oil. See how dark that is? So we're going to drain that out. Let that drain. And then we will swap everything out. Comes out easier, too, if you do it while the car is hot. But then you're dealing with then you're dealing with a hot, uh, <laughs> hot bunch of liquid, which is never a good idea. And oil sticks to you. So it's probably better to do it when it's cold. But I obviously have not done that. So can I reach the oil filter from here? Let me see. Uh, no. We're going to go up to the top. Take the oil filter off. Put the new filter on. And then... Okay, okay, we're just... Why are we walking so slow? Stop that, fool. Okay, get in here. All right, where is it? All right, let's lean in. All right, let's see here. This is the... Take that off. Bring the oil, old oil filter out. It can go over here for now. So I don't mix them up. And then we'll grab this oil filter. Okay, come on. There we go. And this should, this should go on super easy. This is like... This is one of the easiest car maintenance things you can do yourself. I can't, I can't even see it. Where, oh, wait a minute. Did that go on? <laughs> did, that, did that work? Let's see here. There we go. And that's tight down. All right, so oil plug's tight. Oil, sorry, I was itching my nose. Oil plug is tight. Uh, oil filter's on, so now we just got to take this off. And hopefully, I'm hoping I have oil in one of these containers because <laughs> I have a lot of containers Okay, maybe maybe this one doesn't have any oil in it. Let's see here. Oh, well, there we go. I'm not sure if this is a full container of oil or not, but we have a couple of containers kicking around, so fill this up here. I wonder if you can put the wrong fluid in places. Like, can I put coolant in here by accident if I made a mistake? Is that a thing? Okay. Now, I should have showed you the oil as it was dark before I did the oil change, but... Uh, I did not, but we'll check the dipstick here. We'll see what she says. Okay. Now, normally I would, uh, I'd start it up, run it for a bit, and then wait a half hour and check just to let oil drop back into the pan, but we will check the dipstick. Okay. There we go. Let's see. Oh, we're beautiful. Look at that. Okay. Put that back in. There we go. Now we got to fight with, I want to put the stock hood back on. All right. So without the need for a forced induction thing, I just don't see the point. Of the, the hood. I guess you could say more cooling, but uh, my car cools just fine. I don't have any cooling problems with my car. I saw it. Where is it, buddy? Oh, I saw you. I, there you are. There you are. Hood pins on, please. Can't come off the hood. And you're going to do that crazy shake, shake, shake thing. All right. So that's on. Okay. There we go. That's an oil change. Again, I've done it before, but that's an oil change. And I will uh, close this up. And we'll go start the... I'll leave it in the garage, I think, for now. Um, I don't think it'll hurt it being in the garage. Will it? 
Yeah, you know, you know, okay, we're no, we're going to back it up because my luck is it'll be like the long drive and the thing will move when I reload the game. So we just got to break. Okay, this should start. It shouldn't be too cool yet. Oil will be cold, but other than that, let's see here. Now, if I do this right, if I did this right, I should be able just to back straight up. I'm really over revving it here. Straight up. Straight out. There we go. And stop. This will be a good spot for it. All right, ignition off. Take that. There we go. Oil change is done. Now we don't have to worry about the car blowing up. And in the next episode, we can tar it up the car like a like a, like a cheap call girl. Now, I'm going to close this up because I want the bears getting in the garage. Okay. Toolkit's in the pit. Got to remember that because I'll be looking for it and going, where's my tools? All right. We got to clean up the yard. I'm going to do that in an episode make you guys watch. So, yeah, I'm going to end this here. So, thank you so much for watching. If you like this, please leave a comment. Maybe subscribe. Maybe tell your friends to subscribe. Maybe hit the little bell so everybody knows uh, that you like bells. I, I think that's what it's for. And if you didn't like this, well, you should probably find yourself a real YouTuber because I'm not much of one. Sorry for the short video today. I really have to get to some stuff. Thank you so much for watching. You know me. Love every view I get. Scapegoat. That is vibrating really badly. I think it's got a personality of its own. Somebody named the hood for me. And hoodie is not a name. Out.